What is up, Rev Youth family? Hope you guys are doing amazing today. Thank you so much for watching this video right now as you're at home. I wanna encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button to make sure that you're part of our Rev Youth social media family, but also be sure to go on Instagram and follow us at Rev Youth SD to stay tuned with any updates that we have. I'm excited because today I'm gonna to be speaking a little message to you called In the Wild. Right now, as we're at home and this whole coronavirus situation is happening, we're literally in the wilderness. We do not know what's gonna happen. We do not know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And that's kind of a scary thing, but that's also kind of an exciting thing. And it's crazy to know that our series for Red Youth, even before everything had happened, was entitled Unknown. What I love about being in the unknown is that it gives us an opportunity to trust God. Not trust in our own heart, not on our own mind, not on our own plans, but to fully trust God, to have faith and not have fear. So today I'm gonna be in the book of Matthew chapter three, and right here it says, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw that the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love, with him I am well pleased. And the next chapter goes right in and it says, then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. I love how crazy this is. It's like everything was so good, but then everything went so bad. And maybe that's like us. We were like, 2020 is going to be my year. 2020, yes, I can't wait for 2020. Like, goodbye 2019. 2020 is going to be my year. And all of a sudden, 2020 is just drama, heartbreak, sadness, and now corona. You're like, what the heck is happening to my 2020? And maybe right now you feel like you're in the wilderness. And then it says, after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let us pray right now. Jesus, right now, I just want to say thank you so much for being a faithful God. I thank you for being the perfect example to every single one of us of how we need to live, love, and lead from our hearts. I pray that this message today impacts one person as they're at home, impacts one youth, and that they can just live better, they can lead better, and they can be stronger for their family. We love you in Jesus' mighty name, and we all say, amen. I don't want to keep you guys here for too long, but I do want to leave you guys with some encouraging words from this scripture. What I love about the Bible is that the Bible gives us amazing examples of how we need, our li how we need to live our life, and Jesus is honestly the perfect example of how we need it need to live our lives. Here we have Jesus who just got baptized and everything was going amazing. And then all of a sudden for 40 days and 40 nights, he was in the wilderness. And maybe that's you today. Maybe you were having an amazing 2020 and then all of a sudden this happened to you. But I want to encourage you guys that being in the wilderness is an opportunity for us to find a new identity and new opportunities to love the Lord our God in better ways. So I want to ask you guys this question. Are, is your relationship with God stronger or weaker when you're alone? You know, one thing that I was told is that when you're alone, that says more about you than who you are in public. So when we come to church, we can act like we have our whole lives together. We can act super nice, super perfect, and be the good Christian boys and girls we are. But who are we really when no one is watching? What I love about Jesus is that he models to us perfectly what it is to be an example of Christ. Um, if you're there taking notes, I want to encourage you guys three things of how to live our life in the wild. The first thing to do is read your Bible. I know this sounds really simple, but honestly, it's very hard for youth, especially nowadays, to read our Bibles. And maybe you're like, Alex, I'm at home. I'm not in the wilderness. But if I'm being completely honest, is that sometimes in your own home, you have things attacking you left and right. You have so many distractions, whether it's social media, whether it's Netflix, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Snapchat, whether it's... In our world has so many things fighting for our attention. And when you're at home, your mind is going everywhere. But I wanna encourage you guys to get into the Word of God this morning or this evening or this night, whatever time of day you're watching this. I wanna encourage you guys to number one, read your Bible. And number two is pray. I know that sometimes we don't really do this as a, as a community or as a culture, but I'm gonna encourage you guys to pray. The first thing you do when you wake up, 
Just pray to God, say thank you God for such an amazing day. I pray for my family, I pray for my health, I pray for our president, I pray for America. Pray like you mean it. And the last thing that I wanna encourage you guys to do is fast. Give up something to give more time to God. Whether it's social media, whether it's watching Netflix, whether it's being on TikTok, I want to encourage you guys to give up something so that your relationship with God throughout this eight weeks or whether it's months of being home alone, I want to encourage you guys to use this time as an opportunity to grow closer to God. I know myself, and if I'm being completely honest, is that in this time, my mind goes everywhere. And I wanna think about things that I know I shouldn't be thinking about. I wanna waste my time on things that don't even matter. So I wanna encourage you guys to get right with God in this time as you're home alone. Read your Bible, pray to God, and let's fast. So Rev Youth, continue to follow us on Instagram. Follow us and subscribe here on YouTube to be a part of the amazing videos we're gonna be posting. We're gonna be doing Q and A's. We're gonna be doing some fun games, fun activities, but just know that our family here at Heart Revolution Church and Rev Youth, we're praying for you, we're believing with you, and we just want you to know that you are not doing life alone. Jesus, it, Jesus knows exactly how you feel. If you feel alone right now, if you feel bored, if you feel just attacked from every single angle, Know that you're not alone because Jesus knows exactly how that feels. So I want to encourage you guys, again, subscribe, be a part of our family, and let's do this thing together. Jesus, Renat, I just want to say thank you so much for being our father, for being provider, and for being a way maker. I thank you so much for providing ways for us that we didn't even think were possible, for providing this social media platform for us to encounter your word. I pray for our families and the health of the United States, God, and for even for our school campuses and our teachers, that you provide finances, you provide health, and new opportunities for us to grow closer to you. We love you in Jesus' mighty name, and all of Rev Youth family says, amen. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. God bless.